Right. <clears throat> What's going on, people? It's your boy Franklin. Um, this is just um, this is a very quick um, live update. Um, just doing this on my phone. I'm gonna be on for a few minutes. Right. So I'm not sure if you um, you've heard the news about the uh, the Nigerian man called Jeffrey. A Wohime, who basically went to Nigerian uh, Nigerian High Commission, uh, what do you call it? He went to Nigeria High Commission in London, right? Yesterday, 17th of June, and he smashed the place up. Okay. Now, I have clips online. I'm sure some of you have um, you've um, you've seen this as well. Now, what Jeffrey did is absolutely unacceptable. It's criminal damage. Okay. Hi, Janet. Thank you for joining um he smashed up uh several cars belonging to the diplomats at the nigeria high commission in london and stuff okay fine so you know any sensible person just like me and and stuff hi lily you know you'd be asking yourself questions about what what is it that could have put pushed that guy to the breaking point to hi kinsa thank you for joining what could have pushed that guy to the point where he decided to smash up and absolutely destroy you know several cars and stuff now at the point of filming this i'm going to talk to you based on my observations okay based on my research and what i found out and stuff now i'm sure i'm sure several of you watching this know that nigeria high commission across the globe have a disgraceful reputation i'm sure you agree with me but having said that, this does not in any way, shape or form justify, um, you know, criminality or criminal damage. But there is one thing that caught my attention, okay? That guy, um, hi guys, uh, thank you for, for signing in. I'm not going to take too long. You know, I, I, I agree when I saw it, when I saw the video clip of, you know, several cars that were damaged, my jaw was literally on the floor like, whoa. What the bloody hell happened to this, you know, this geezer? Why did he decide to smash up? Now, I'm just going to give you a quick background. I myself, like several other people, I live here in the UK. Um, I can tell you, in my personal experience in dealing with Nigeria High Commission, right, the attitude, the customer service is absolutely zero. If there is anything beneath zero, I would give it to them. They are very rude. They have a blatant disregard for your rights. They treat you like crap. They just, they have no respect whatsoever. I'll give you a quick, a quick background. I remember back in, uh, was it back in 2014 or something when I went to Nigeria High Commission, right? There was a pregnant woman who also had a baby in a pushchair. She was from Southampton. And then they said um, something was missing, a particular sleep or something was missing. And all that woman, had to do was maybe go to a nearby internet cafe and maybe get that paid printed in fact there was a gentleman sat next to me and the guy was like ah hey man uh listen bro uh listen let me help this woman i can rush to a cafe if you give me your login i'll help you because she had a baby and she was equally pregnant this nigeria high commission officer just i don't care you know get lost and come back those exact words get lost and come back another day and you can imagine People got angry, emotions were flying. My, I, I was just, I was a, you know, when you get in, you go to like a basement area, the towels were falling off, the roof were cracked, absolutely despicable. So they will frustrate you. You have officers trying to extort you for money, trying to get, you know, money off you, trying to take advantage of you. Or uh, maybe you've made mistakes in your application. Or sometimes when the passports are ready, it's been known. It's when the passports are ready, they would deliberately, they would deliberately try to, hey, what's up, my boy? They would deliberately slow things down so they can extort you. Now, here is my observation. Oh, criminal damage to the, to the cars and stuff. I can imagine the guy was pushed to the brim. It's not a justification, but then I went on Twitter. I was reading people's tweets and people's reaction, and I realized that nigerian immigration that's the high commission immigration services right they put a letter into the public domain of course trying to put out their story that the guy's passport was um made available on the 6th of june and then 
they actually displayed this man, Jeffrey Ewohimes. I hope I pronounced his name properly. Nigeria High Commission displayed his data page publicly on Twitter. How can you do that? Like, how can you do that with anyone's personal data? That's a catastrophic personal data breach. And for me, that tells you everything you need to know about Nigeria High Commission. They are absolutely useless. I mean, I, I saw this on Twitter. I actually thought it was a joke. I had to expand that tweet. And I read people's um, submissions. And the fact that the tweets are still up until now. And then you have um, platforms like Sahara Reporters also took those images, posted it on their own website, on their Twitter feed. It's disgraceful. I think by by now people should understand the severity the seriousness of you know um personal data breach and protecting people's i get it listen the man got arrested uh by the police he will face the consequences that come with you know that come with the criminal damage we get that he will face the consequences of you know for damaging the cars and stuff i i agree but why would you as a as a high commission of a country of nearly 200 million people you took somebody's personal data page so I, actually one of the officers went into their their whatever and took the picture with a mobile phone you know what this actually tells you how flimsy they take our personal details. How useless Nigerian com High Commission is. I think people should report this to the, you know, office of the, uh, is it, what's the um, office of the, uh, what's ICO full name in, here in the UK? They need to be reported for catastrophic personal data breach. It's unacceptable. Because if you can do that, whereby a public servant, a public officer that works for Nigeria High Commission can just take somebody's passport details and take a picture with their with their mobile phone and stick it on the web so that means they can do anything that the information commissioner's office thank you andrew that means they can steal my data they can steal your data they can slap our data on the web or even even worse they can sell our data to hackers they can sell our data to criminals that can use them for identity theft and um, for credit card frauds for loan frauds for all sorts of criminalities because What's happened is they've exposed this guy to potential identity theft, identity fraud, to all sorts of criminality. You put his, um, his full name, his date of birth, you put everything online. Why? I, 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 look, listen, bro, I get it. I'm back in the UK, bro. I'm back in the UK. Um, you see, I get it. Regardless of what, what the guy has done, like I said, I'm not here to justify um, his criminal actions. He destroyed so many cars. I'm guessing that stemmed from his frustrations. He will face, uh, he's been arrested. I believe the police will deal with that. But why would you take his passport? To me, that's, um, that's a retaliatory action by the Nigeria action. It's absolutely despicable, disgusting, totally embarrassing. It basically means these people are, have no regard for data protection laws they have no brain they have no acumen to be able to understand that people's personal details are not to be taken for granted go go on twitter go and look for nigeria um, immigration look at their timeline and you will see the guys in fact if you put his name in google the images came up it's disgraceful and i like i said websites like um, sahara reporters they took that. I expect people like this to be to be to have a better level of understanding. It's not fair. Even if he gets, I don't know, maybe he gets committed to prison for his criminal action. That's fine. Let the police, let the law deal with that. But why would you take his personal data? Like I said, that means this means my personal data is not safe. Your personal data for everyone that has gone through Nigeria High Commission. It means any dingbat in that building has access to our databases. You can be sat in the UK and they can take your names, they can take your date of birth, they can sell it on to hackers, they can sell it on to criminals, and they can just basically throw you under the spotlight of fraud. It's unacceptable. I mean, what do you guys think? 
I, like I said, this is my frustration. You can see from my thumbnail. Because I saw it and I thought, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? And to make matters worse, so many people are telling Nigeria High Commission on Twitter to take down the image as I speak. That image is still on there. They've left it on there. I hope that guy, regardless of the outcome of him being prosecuted for the criminal damage, I hope and pray that he gets a reliable, um, what do you call it now? A reliable lawyer that will sue the pants off their backs. It's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. I, I, are you telling us that Nigeria is so incompetent that some persons can go into where passports are Regard, because why? You know why? Because they have a, they have a disregard for, for implications. It shows, it tells you exactly what happens in Nigeria. Because why? If, if I know, if I work for that um, high commission, and I know that if I take somebody's passport, and I take the picture with my mobile phone, and I'm public, it's not just about suing them. It's a criminal offense because it's a deliberate action. It's disgraceful. I wish I wish some of them was around. I don't bother smashing their cars. These people are bastards. They have no regard for the citizens of their country. But he's done that now. I'm sure he's going to have to, you know, pay for the consequences of the criminal damage. But the personal data breach. Look, I don't know. Maybe I'm taking this too far. What do you think? The consequences are severe because. I looked at that video, I looked at that video, I looked at those images and I said, if a random public uh, government official can have access to somebody's passport and take a picture of that passport and make it public, you and I don't stand a chance. These people can steal our data and sell it to any, expose you to identity theft. Everyone that live in the West, if you live abroad, you know the seriousness, the severity of identity theft. I've met victims of identity theft. It's not a joke. You can sit down in Leeds and somebody in Scotland has, has managed to apply for three, four, five credit cards, bank loans and don't all sorts with your personal details. And they will come looking for you as the one who's carried out the frauds. They can do all sorts with your name. They can clone your identity. They can use it to rent cars. They can do all sorts and get you in trouble. It's unbelievable, man. And and I, I read the letter that got made public by one of the officials. Bad grammar. I, I mean, what is wrong with man? Leaders, man. I mean, somebody sat next to me actually today. I was in my local library, and the guy is a white dude. He actually saw the news, and he, he said, "Oh, I saw that on Twitter. Why did they put the guy's passport? Why did they make it public? I I couldn't respond. I." couldn't respond i just went quiet anyway man that, that's uh, we, we'll see how things unfold i'm sure that guy's gonna get prosecuted of course it's quite extensive criminal damage this is england there's no way he's gonna get away get away with it but i think people need to report um nigeria high commission to the information commissioner's office if you live here in the uk legal action against them i hope he gets a good lawyer anyway that me done people thank you for uh stopping by uh, uh, i think it looks like this is lagging and, and stuff apologize i'm i'm just streaming with my 3g man um anyway that's that's that um i'll catch you with my regular update tomorrow it's just frustrating man people's data are at risk it's disgraceful. Ah, last thing. There's a, there's a woman called Abike. Is it Abike Dabiri or something that has to do? Is a, she's, a, she's like a spokesperson for immigration of the federal government. I hope they see this video. You cannot mess with people's data. I don't care if that guy smashed 50 cars. 